structure of carbonyl compounds we know carbonyl compounds are aldehydes or ketones so if you look at the structure of aldehyde and ketone one thing is common that common portion common part i have shown using the red square this part is called carbonyl group so the carbonyl group is common for both aldehyde and ketone hence if you discuss the structure of carbonyl group we will get the structure of carbonyl compounds so before we start the discussion you must know the carbon of carbonyl group is called carbonyl carbon and the oxygen of carbonyl group is you may you may call it as carbonyl oxygen now when we start our discussion uh, of the structure of carbonyl compounds <coughs> first of all we have to find the hybridization of both carbonyl carbon and oxygen this hybridization is sp2 when hybridization is sp2 the geometry is trigonal planar with bond angle 120 degrees now once we know the geometry and the hybridization we can find out the bonding pattern in the structure now first of all you can see here i have shown black color i have used black, black color for the sp2 hybridization of carbon sp2 hybridization of carbon and you can imagine this is a trigonal planar geometry this bond angle is 120 degrees now we can uh, discuss the bonding pattern in this carbonyl group the bond between carbon and oxygen this bond is a sigma bond this bond is formed after the overlapping of sp2 hybrid orbital of carbon and sp2 hybrid orbital of oxygen then if we consider sp2 hybridization we know there is a p orbital lying perpendicular to the plane of sp2 hybrid orbital that's why you can imagine you can you can see here this is a plane of hybrid orbitals and this blue a uh, lobe this is a p orbital which is perpendicular to that to that uh, sp2 hybrid orbitals now see there is a pi bond between carbon and oxygen and this pi bond is formed after lateral overlapping of p orbital that i have shown by using a dotted line so this is a pi bond after that there are two oxygen or uh, two lone pair of electrons present on the oxygen both lone pairs of electrons are actually present in sp2 hybrid orbitals then remaining two sigma bonds present which are present on the carbonyl carbon we can explain like this if there is a high aldehyde then one hybrid orbital of carbonyl carbon overlapping with the s orbital of hydrogen and will get here hydrogen attached and another sigma bond is formed after the sp2 and sp2 uh, overlapping of uh, another carbon and this carbon so in this way we can discuss the structure of carbonyl compounds thank you